Meanwhile, we have made our way into the kitchen and our first guest is making the ultimate appetizer Yay! that is so delicious. Your guests might just go in for a double dip, but then you can just smack their no hand, double right? dipping. No double dipping. Don't Welcome back, it. our good friend, Danielle Cardis. Welcome yeah. back. Oh, I love you. Oh. You guys. Crab, and first of all, I love these ladies. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> of course, Deb and Orly and Maria are all here. Everybody loves you. It's so much fun when you're here. In. This is so delicious. So and this yummy. isn't just for Christmas time. I know we're doing like yeah. this really fun Christmas in July, yeah. but this is so good for year round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any like, gathering. It's delicious. And so I think it's really fun for people to know like, hey, you can make this super mm. impressive, like delicious dip so any time of year. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a little bit of mayonnaise. So we have okay. softened cream cheese here. And that's important that it's soft. It's important that it's soft. You know why? Because have you ever tried to mix up cold cream cheese? Yes. If you just oh, try to skip good. the process, and you're like, I need to make this frosting right now. <laughs> And it's like lumpy and weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're it like, this is, work. you're yeah. like holding the package, trying to warm yeah. it up. Yeah, I'm like, you can squish it. It kind of does help. Yes. You, just squish the you can squish it. Yeah, you can totally do your, give that to your kids and then, you know, maybe have a backup when they squish it out. And get it <laughs> um, so we add a little bit of mayo to that. Mm -hmm. And what the mayo does is it adds fat and flavor and it also like really makes it so much easier to mix mm. up. Okay. So we got this part going. Okay. We add in our green onions. Isn't it so good? Mm. This is you like, guys, this is, you hear all the noises it's over here? So yeah, yeah. Good. All we hear is, oh, so good. Yeah, it's, it's so it's good. Creepy. We're a little creepy. <laughs> and our, no, be creepy. It makes you feel very happy as a chef. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so that was cheddar. The first cheddar, one, Parmesan. Yep, first one is cheddar. And I just like to mix it in. And then you kind of like, not season as you go, but I like to get it really in there midway. Okay. And then I'm going to add the shrimp. So this is the cool part about the shrimp. You can do frozen shrimp. You can do fresh shrimp. Just make sure that there isn't a ton of liquid in the bottom because it'll make your dip a little liquidy. Mm. And you want to bake these raw. So you're going to chop them up. I've and you're gonna... never seen this. Isn't this cool? Oh, yes. yeah. I bet if you cooked them before, it would be way overcooked. They'd be the way overcooked. And you can do that because a lot of recipes call for that, and it's not mm. uncommon. But the oh. cool part about this is when you're cooking the shrimp in the cream cheese, mm -hmm. it actually gets so much more flavorful. Mm. So you get all those little juices and all mingling together. And it tastes so much better. Like, can you taste the difference? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we use our stuff. Our, it's our not little... rubbery at all. No, not right. at all. And the shrimp amazing. stay tender and delicate. So we're going to mix, mix, mix. And then in goes more. So we've got chopped parsley. And I love the flavor of parsley. A lot of people think it's just a garnish. But don't sleep on parsley. Yeah. It's <laughs> actually really delicious. I agree. Yep. And then we got lemon juice. Mm. A little bit of acid. Because you have... All the fat. Oh, go for it. No, I just like love how much you're putting into it. It's not just like a ton of like cream cheese I and know, mayo with like so a little crab. Like there's so much good stuff. Yeah, going in. so many recipes are just like mayonnaise and whatever vegetable or or, mm -hmm. or meat, and that's mm -hmm. fine. But you want so much flavor. Yeah. So here's a little lemon zest. Yum. Mm. And a little bit of Dijon mustard. You can use any mustard that you have, even yellow. I mean, there's no. You just want that sort of mustardy, delicious a little flavor. Thing. Yeah, a little kick. Mm -hmm. And then we get a little more kick from some Ooh, hot sauce. Nice. Isn't that fun? I feel like I would even like have hot sauce drizzled over the top. I know, yeah. right? I'm oh, such yeah. a hot sauce girl. Yeah, like, hot, yeah, I'm all about the hot sauce. <laughs> Put it all in. So we're going to mix this all up. So we wait to add the crab. It goes in last. Yes. Why is that? Because, okay, first of all, crab costs a bajillion dollars. Yeah. Crab, is, <laughs> crab is super expensive. Let's just throw that out there. Yeah. And you <laughs> don't want your crab to get all completely broken up. Like, mm -hmm. you really want to just fold it in nicely. Right. And keep the, I mean, this sounds weird, but the integrity of the crab. Yeah. <laughs> you want to keep it in chunks. You want to dip your bread in there. And yes. know, like I have a hunk of crab on my exactly. cracker, and it's not just it. you know broken yeah. apart. And so then here you goes. feel like it's like extra fancy. Like when you're like oh. eating lobster bisque, you get that big claw. Oh, yes. you're like, this is a good bisque. You're like, like this is a good I win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the big piece. Yeah. <laughs> you grow up in like a big family, and you're like fishing through the pot for the meat. <laughs> That's so funny. Right? I totally feel you there. Totally. You're like, I'm oh sorry. I, yeah. Um, my, yeah, I only got two sausages, yeah, exactly. but you're like, I have four in your hide. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just my house. No, no, girl. Oh my house house. The across America. <laughs> <laughs> so you fold in the crab. You fold in the crab. And then transfer. Absolutely. So I like to, this is a great idea for folding. So you just come from the whole underside of the mm -hmm. bowl, and then you can go literally like you're making a cake. Go through the center, and if you happen to see a little leg portion, be real careful around them, okay? You mm -hmm. want the leg to stay intact. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to mix him up. A real good piece. Yes. Mix him, mix him, mix him. And then he's going to go inside our cute little dish. Look at this. Oh, a little fun? casserole dish. I'm, I'm obsessed with small dishes, guys. 
And you I think they're so cute. Something really great to take to people's homes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, and a then, really great traveling dish for something. Just pop it in the oven yeah. and warm it up when you get there. Mm -hmm. And every, I feel like so many people like seafood. It's just a special treat. Not yeah. only is it Christmassy, it's like, oh my gosh, I feel so special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's fun too when you're actually putting it in the dish to create some little peaks and valleys. I mean, nothing fancy because you want it to stay crunchy and crispy. Mm -hmm. So look at like the one that's baked over here. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Absolutely. So here he is. We didn't smash him down. Okay. We're going to go in here. How long are we putting it in? What temperature? 375 degrees. Here, we'll do a little swap out. And here's the one we're gonna beautiful. enjoy. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. So good. So beautiful, love it so much. So here's this one. 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, or just depending on your oven, I mean, just check it out. If you have hot spots and stuff, just keep an oh, eye, yeah. you know. And I see we have a little tray over here. So what is yes. good to serve with this? Oh my gosh, I love everything. Bread, crackers, veggies. It just keeps it no, exciting. Pork. I feel like pork <laughs> <laughs> rice. Lather it on your hand. I feel like jicama would be really good too. Ooh. Oh, delicious. Ooh, yeah. It's crunchy Anything. and cold. Is this yeah. something that could be served hot or cold? I like it on the warm side. Okay. I feel like cold though, you could make a sandwich out of it. Like why not? No, that's Ooh. true. Ooh. Put some lettuce and some delicious Ooh. bread. Like make that like your salad. Oh yeah, I love that. That just came to me. Chicken salad. <laughs> Like it's like grab, grab salad. Oh my goodness. Because there's so much. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, so good Danielle, stuff in there. while you're enjoying that, yeah. I'd like to let everyone know that you recently remastered your yes, cookbooks. Yes, you guys. Really Thank amazing. you. Tell us a little bit about that. It's so cool because we self-published. And so, you know, you work your heart and soul into something and you self-publish and you put it out there. And then a publisher came along and they said, this is so good. We want to put it out in such a, you know, in a much bigger way. Right. So amazing. September 3rd, we have the first Woo! in the series. So not only are we doing the relaunching the first two books, we have a third book coming uh, in May. So the oh first in the series, so all of 2020, you guys. So September 3rd, the first book comes out, oh, which is My Heart's Table. And you yeah. can order it on Amazon or <laughs> wherever you want. You want to pre-order it. Get that pre-order. And they're super affordable. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, and they're, they're amazing books. Three books, books, you guys. So she has not been busy at all. Not at yeah. all. Yeah. Not at all. I can't <laughs> tell you how proud we are of you. From the first you. time you came in here, we fell madly in we love with you. I mean, love seriously, you no, Danielle, seriously. you deserve all the success in the world. Oh, you are so awesome. Awesome. Thank you. If only you had a bigger personality. I mean, I know. I mean, <laughs> if I could just come out of my shell. <laughs> one thing, Deb. We love the one you, thing. Oh, <laughs> you guys you get in so there and enjoy that. I know, right? Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Yum. Yum. Be sure to visit rusticjoyfulfood.com. And as always, the full recipe for this will be on hallmarkchannel.com.